Hey everybody, so it's time for a test. Um, we actually get to get out here and try it out. I have a couple concerns before we get going here. You can see the profile of this is pretty thick. So it has to penetrate a ways before the threads actually start to work. And I don't know if I can get that in one hit. I may have to take this out, reprofile repro this shorter. We'll have to see how far it drives down into the log to start. The corn test one. There's the penetration on the first strike, and as you can see, my concerns were a little warranted. I'm not, the threads aren't engaged yet. Okay, so I shortened the tip, and hopefully that'll be enough to get us in there where we can start trying the threads. And that's my next concern, is whether the threads pull out or not. That looks like we have the threads in there, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to drag it. So here we go, here's our first... Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's biting. So our threads aren't quite engaged enough and they're just kind of pulling wood out. So we got to get it in there deeper. Okay, so the tip ain't going to work. So I'm going to try and set it up so I just drive the screw in there. Alright, so now we got our threads in. And we'll try starting it and see how this goes. This wood's a little punky. Oh, that's different. So we're definitely getting some traction here. Oh. So, we'll see how much force it takes to split this up. Um, Design-wise, we had to change a few things. The screw, obviously, with the tip on it didn't work. But the screw by itself works but i have to of course stabilize it so the log doesn't twist all over the place so we'll have to make some different kinds of tines something tougher because i think these are just in fact i can already see them twisted but i can feel second thing is this wood's kind of punky and at some point i might just pull like i think i see it right now where i'm just pulling wood out it's not actually doing anything so we'll have to see how this works on wood that ain't rotten. We are getting somewhere. So it just occurred to me that when I've seen videos of folks using these unicorn splitters, they don't do it from the end grain, they do it from the side. And maybe that's what I'm doing wrong that the end grains will pull out, um, the side grain won't pull out. Well, the side grain pulls out too. Damn it. So, so far, we've had a problem with getting the thread to keep the threading in. But I think that was because my tines were making contact too early, so now I'm going to try a different method. Cut those tines back so they engage later into the outside of the thread. Um, just using my block to counter the rotation, and that seems to be working because my thread's loading up. So, um... This is an axe I built a while ago. It's a uh, solid, it's a piece of tube steel that I folded over. It's full of sand. Um, I like it a lot better than a mall for the head profile. This has been my favorite splitting tool for years. And um, since I made the axe to corn, everyone's like, well, why don't you just use an axe? Well, I do use axes all the time. But it got me an idea. See that crack there? That I could use my axe and my axicorn together because now I got something to hang on to <laughs> running the ratchet so let's try this out why don't we okay so something's definitely happening 
because it spread enough, it spread the log enough that my split opened up and dropped the axe out. So we'll try another hit, see what happens. That was handy. So that might be a really good wedge. Gives you something to hang on to. And it's easy to get it out when you're done. So, a lot of people might be wondering, what's next for the Axicorn? Well, power is what's next for the Axicorn. It takes a lot of effort to twist this and make it drive in. And so the next thing I'm going to save up for is a uh, portable pipe threader. They run about 30 RPMs and have a boatload of torque. And we'll set it up to interface with the handle, and then I'll have electric power to drive the screw. Um, the video of putting the axe corn together has been really popular, so that's why I'm making this long-form video of the testing. The testing didn't go super great, um, as you all can see from this video. But stay tuned, because I want to get some power on this and uh, see if that makes a difference. But I'm going to keep working on it. It's a fun idea, and I'd really like to have it work. So thanks for watching, and you all have a good night.